Knowing when to give up on something and knowing when to hold on. Grandma's porch. Sit down, relax, enjoy. Here on Grandma's porch. Know when to call it quits. Know when to call it quits. Hello, y'all. I'm Diana Brienne. Well, y'all know I don't give advice. I don't give suggestions. I just share with you my opinion on different issues. And last night, I was um, I had put out a notification that I would be doing a live stream. I put it out about six hours beforehand, not realizing that likely that would be the only notification to go out. I thought as soon as I come on, YouTube would alert everybody that I'm on. And so I came on my live stream and I normally get quite a few people on my live stream and hardly anybody showed up. So after waiting a while, I realized my mistake of error, at least the way I see it is that I should have not probably put that notification up that far out. And so I learned a lesson that people didn't realize I was on, that no one knew that I was on. So I called it quits. I said, you know what? Um, I'm going to wrap it up for tonight. And I was only on a few minutes and then I left. And, you know, you have to kind of know when to fold it as the cards, you know, they talk about folding your cards or, you know, throwing in your, throwing in your deck or um, when to give up. And I wasn't giving up, but I was giving up on that live stream because I realized that no matter how long I sat there, I wasn't being pushed out so that people would know that I was on live stream. And to the best of my understanding of what happened last night. So today when I did a live streaming, I went and I only put my notification out maybe a couple minutes beforehand and I got quite a few on my live stream. So this is the way I look at it is you've got to know when to throw in the towel on something, even if it's only for the moment. And you've got to know when to keep on going. Sometimes we should not throw in the towel and some people throw in the towel and that's the wrong decision to make. Remember, success is continuing on in the right direction even when failure has given up. Failures usually give up before they've reached where they want to go. Whereas successful people who are on on the right road. Remember, it's got to be a right choice, a right decision, a right goal. If you if you stay on the road with a wrong choice, wrong decision, or wrong goal, you're going to probably get wrong results. So you, it has to be the right decision, the right choice. But in a situation like mine last night, by being on YouTube and nothing was working, and you know, I realized my error was putting out uh, the notification way too early. So now I know better. And so, but I also knew that there was nothing probably I could do at that point. So just just um, stop, just stop. And that's what I did. I stopped, I backed up, I ended my live stream, and then I came back on today. And so I thought that that was probably the best decision I could make because I would have otherwise just sat there probably almost talking to myself. And I didn't want to do that. And although I like to talk to myself, that wasn't the time and place for me to talk to myself. You know, I love to hear my own thoughts, but you know, I love to also share them. And that was why I was doing the live stream. So basically I'm just saying that there's a time that we have to know when we need to stop doing something. And, uh, and there's a time that we need to know when we need to keep doing something because a lot of times things we don't get instant results in life but we keep pursuing it one step at a time and one leg at a time and one you know mile at a time and one everything at a time 
Other times we need to know that, hey, this is not going to work, so I need to step back. And that's what I did last night. So I hope you like, share, subscribe to all five of my channels. Um, the links are pinned to the top of the comment section above this video. You just click on the links. If you connect to all five channels, I likely will connect back with all five channels to your channel. And so from Grandma's Porch, we're having a lot of pollen. I've got the Grandma's sofa covered up because we are having a tremendous amount of green pollen and so I, I don't want it to damage grandma's sofa so anyhow i hope to talk to you all soon again may god bless you talk to you then bye bye to relax and a place to enjoy. Grandma's porch.